Moonlight Mile is a 2002 American romantic drama film written and directed by Brad Silberling. This film was loosely inspired by writer-director Brad Silberling's own experience. He was dating actress Rebecca Sheffer at the time she was killed by an obsessed fan in 1989. The film takes its name from the Rolling Stones song of the same name. The film's original title was Babies in Black, and then later changed to Goodbye Hello, and then the current title. The film is set in 1973 and music from that era is heavily featured, including that of the Rolling Stones, Van Morrison, Bob Dylan, and Elton John. Topic plot Following the murder of Diana Floss in a restaurant in Cape Ann, Massachusetts in 1973, her fiancé Joe Nast elects to stay with her parents. Her father, Ben, is a realtor whose business partner has recently left. Ben and Joe go into business as Floss and Son, as this was their plan before Diana's death. Joe goes to the post office to retrieve all the invitations that had been sent out for his and Diana's wedding, and with the help of Bertie Knox he retrieves 74 of 75. She finds the last invitation and takes it to his house later that night. He drops her off at a local bar, and returns home, despite her inviting him in for a drink. Joe and Ben attend a local property fair, and Ben pitches the idea of redeveloping a block in the town to developer Mike Mulcahy. Mulcahy agrees, but they need to get all the tenants to agree. Diana's friends come around to look through her possessions, much to the consternation of her mother, Jojo. They then take Joe out for a drink at the same bar Bertie went to the previous night. Joe puts Moonlight Mile on the jukebox and Bertie dances with him. Joe convinces Ben to let him talk to the bar's owner to convince them to sell. Feeling trapped at the Floss home, he meets Bertie and tells her about Diana. He confesses to her that he had split up with Diana three days before she was killed. Bertie tells Joe about her boyfriend, the owner of the bar, who is lost in Vietnam. One night Joe sneaks out the window to go see Bertie again. They sleep together, and he leaves the next morning, slipping back into Diana's house through the window. Jojo is sitting in the room, drinking, knowing that he was out seeing another woman, and saddened by the idea that she had always known he would have never ended up with her daughter. She does not want Jo to leave, as they have formed a bond. Jo goes to dinner at the Mulcahy's, where Mike's wife presumes aloud that Jo was not still tied up with thoughts of his fiancé's murder. Joe states that this is not the case, upsetting the mood at the dinner table. Mike calls Ben and ends their deal. Bertie confronts Joe about what happened between them, and they have an argument in which he tells her no one believes her boyfriend is coming home and that she deserved better anyway. She leaves, upset. The family attends the trial of Diana's murderer. However, the murderer's wife elicits sympathy from the jury, and the prosecutor, Mona Camp, asks Joe to testify and help the jury gain sympathy for Diana. While on the witness stand, Joe confesses that he and Diana had broken up prior to her death, and had not told her parents. Ben and Jojo are happy with the confession and gain closure. 
Joe symbolically writes 75 letters expressing his newfound clarity about what course his life ought to take and his love for Bertie, and places them in mailboxes around town, hoping that one will get to her. Ben closes the shop, Jojo resumes her writing career, Bertie sells the bar, and she and Joe leave town. Topic. Cast Topic. Reception Topic. Box office The film grossed $10,011,050 worldwide from a $21 million budget. Topic. Critical reception Moonlight Mile received mixed reviews from critics. The review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes sampled 147 reviews and gave the film a 63% positive rating. Topic: <laughs> Soundtrack The Moonlight Mile soundtrack was released September 24, 2002 by Sony Records. <laughs>